Good evening. The family of Jim Aberesk is preparing a public event to celebrate the late senator this month. Kelly Dan Santella looks ahead to the celebration and talks with Aberesk's widow and daughter. Sanaa Aberesk says her late husband hasn't left. He's still with me, actually. You know, I mean, we're still in the house. His glasses, his books, his phone. You know, everything's still, I left everything the same, so I'm, you know, he's still with me. <laughs> Her husband represented South Dakotans in the U.S. House of Representatives and then the U.S. Senate in the 1970s. He passed away on his 92nd birthday in February. He has the sweetest, kindest heart ever, but his personality was big. So yes, we need to celebrate this big personality. So that's exactly what's going to happen on Sunday, May 28th at the Washington Pavilion in downtown Sioux Falls. We've been preparing just a list of speakers who we think would encompass my dad's life and has some great stories and just memories to share. Jim and Sanaa's daughter, Alia Aberesk of New York, says her father was true to what made him unique. I really miss and kind of admire his strength and courage and just uh, how um, unapologetically himself he was. And I think that's something I really hold to you and kind of just hope that I can emulate in some way. She saw the connections her father had with the community around him. Now his loved ones will celebrate that legacy at the upcoming public memorial. He made everyone feel like he had known them for 10 plus years. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. And a little levity. Sana says her late husband told her that he will haunt her, yes, haunt her, if there is a long speech. <laughs>